Welcome to Module 2 in the four-part series on mold. The focus in this module is on the protocols for a home inspection. Prior to the home inspection, clients usually have three concerns. Potential health effects of exposure to fungi and their byproducts, effect of mold contamination on the structural integrity of the building, and the negative aesthetic effects fungi can produce both visually and on the human olfactory system. Before the inspection actually begins, an inspector should ask these eight key questions. Is there water intrusion in the building? Are there any components in the building that are water damaged? Are there musty, moldy odors in the building? Is there any visible apparent mold? Is that which is visible actually mold? Are there indications of hidden mold growth? Are there conditions conducive to mold growth? What should be done if mold growth is discovered? Now the inspector can proceed to develop a hypothesis. There are four possibilities. There is no mold growth in the building. The null hypothesis. The occupant's health is being affected by mold exposure. The health affected hypothesis. Structural damage has been caused by mold growth in the building. The damaged building hypothesis. A musty odor indicates mold growth. The aesthetic hypotheses. There are two types of mold inspections. One type is the complete mold inspection. The other type is the limited mold inspection. All sampling is performed according to the IAC2 mold sampling procedures. Before planning a remediation effort, the size and extent of the mold problem and any ongoing moisture problems should be assessed. Remediation generally can be divided into small, less than 10 square feet of mold, medium, 10 to 100 square feet of mold, and large jobs, more than 100 square feet of mold. A remediation manager should be selected for medium or large jobs. An experienced health and safety professional in remediation projects should be consulted, particularly on large or complex jobs.